welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another tutorial. Get excited because we're gonna be using the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. I'm very excited to use this on camera. I've been testing this out for a month or so. Yeah, probably about a month I've been playing with it. And I just like completely didn't even realize I didn't make a video with it. So I was like, girl, what are you doing? And I also am going to be showing you guys the three new lipsticks. I'm going to be swatching all three of those, so get excited for that as well. First, we're going to go into brows and you know the deal. I already moisturized my skin. I just squeezed my brows a little bit because they needed it. So I just did that a little bit. I'm gonna be going in with precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. I'm in shade five. I've been using the Tarte Brow Mousse for a little bit, but I want to switch it up. You guys know how I do my brows that way. So I'm bleeding a little bit there, which is fun because I probably pinched myself. I'm just going to fill these in really quick. Starting in the front today. I'm going to just fill in any sparse areas with some light strokes. Kind of making hairs, pretty much. I wonder if that's what Huda's going to do next, brows, because she hasn't really touched on brows, right? Not yet, at least. That's probably going to be next. That's my guess. Then I'll have another choice to use for my brows. So that's pretty good. Yeah. And this gives me a more natural brow, I feel like. Um, I feel like I use the Tarte or any kind of pomade if I wanted a more, you know, striking, bold brow. my god, Nicole Concilio just replied to my thing. I'm literally, I've been watching her all day and she's just like, just replied to me. Holy crap. Uh, oh my god. Wow, that's really cool. Another reason why I freaking love her. Okay, back to the tutorial. Wow, that was really cool. She's like one of the people on YouTube that I, oh my god, I just, how did I run out of this? All right, good thing I have more in my drawer. That was just, something happened, something fell. All right, I literally just ran out as I'm doing my brow, but it's okay, I have more. I just did a post um, on my Instagram about Nicole, just saying like how awesome she is with honesty with products. Like on my channel, that's like what I strive for, to be honest and, you know, professional about like reviewing or using products. I try to keep it super, super professional. So I just kind of like messaged, well, not messaged her, I guess, publicly messaged her and, and just said thank you for being honest about your products because that's just what I strive to do. New York girls. Know what I'm saying? The Benefit 24 hour brow setter. That's what I'm going to be using for the brows to set them. And I'm just going to comb them up. I really want to try this soap brow. Like, you know, just literally getting a spoolie and putting it through soap because it does look really good. I know Katie uses that like a lot. I love Katie by the way, like I watch her all the time. So that is why I've been mentioning her a lot because I've just been on like a crazy YouTube high and I've just been watching tutorials as if I was like 17 and like still hardcore learning. For a base, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base. I've been loving this guy. I actually have a new technique for it that I also learned from Katie. So I'm just going to be using a fluffy brush. I'm going to be using a Morphe M504. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then just kind of blend this out. Get that hair. I hate when the brush is shed. Okay, the other side. I had to stop using this so opaquely because my un my eyes were just so crazy dry and it was not working for me. So I actually learned from Katie who also has dry eyes or dry eyelids to use this with a fluffy brush and it helps so much. Thanks Katie for the tip. Now, we are getting into the beautiful Huda New Nude palette. I still have this in here. 
because I love it and I just love looking at it when I open the palette. So let's just look at how gorgeous. I did damage it a little bit obviously, like got my nails stuck in there. But it is like such a beautiful, beautiful palette and good job. And I love these foils here. They're just so gorgeous. I think I'm going to go in with Secret first as a transition. So I'm going to be taking a Morphe M518. Just gonna go in. Going in. And just going to swipe back and forth. Just as a base color. Doing the same with the other eye. I think we're gonna do a halo. We're gonna do a halo. We're gonna do a halo. Okay? Okay. So I'm gonna go in with Spanked. This color right here, I'm gonna go in with. It's like a strong plum. And I'm using a MAC 221. And we're just gonna go up and over. Blending this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's like from a book. If you can name that book, that'd be really cool. But I feel like I just gave you like a really tiny snippet, so I don't know how you're gonna be able to name it. Um, doing the same thing on the other side. So do you guys think that she's gonna be coming out with brows next? I really believe that. I don't know why I believe that so hard, but I do. But maybe just because she didn't touch on it yet. It's okay if. You get a little messy here. Like as you can see, I have like a lot more room here. Kind of got a little messy. Don't worry, we're gonna fix it. I'm just building this color up. And then I'm gonna go into Love Bite, which is this deep, deep purple. And I'm just gonna kind of press it into that. And into the inner corner. And then bring it up. This is like a really soft halo. I noticed that I do really soft halos. Blended wise, I'm happy for now. I'm just gonna go in with Secret again. Just gonna blend that up top. But that looks really good. I'm gonna go in with Concealed, which is this little creamy concealer right here. So I'm guessing it's four doing cut creases and stuff like that. So we're gonna try it out. Okay, I'm gonna take a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH41 and I'm just gonna take that conceal and just see what's going on here. Just gonna kind of put it in the center. And up there a little bit. And just kind of, you know, conceal that out. We'll cut that out mostly. I'm not really sure if this is what this is used for, but I'm trying it out. I don't know how I didn't try this out before, but so I'm gonna grab Fantasy first. Okay, girl, she is here. Wow. I'm just covering everywhere I put that. The little opal flakes came out to play. I'm gonna also go into Daydream. And I'm going to just put that in the center. So I decided to kind of cover this whole area with that concealer. And just kind of cut it pretty much. So it's going to be a cleaner halo, if that makes sense. Like I was talking about before. So now I'm going to go in with Spanked and Love Bite. Build that color in there.
Yeah, and that's building up really nice. Go back in with Fantasy a little bit. Blend that just a little bit out. I'm also gonna go back up here and kind of cut that out a little more. I didn't know I was gonna be doing like a cut halo, so. Kinda just happened. Which is totally fine, which I actually appreciate and enjoy for the most part. Ooh, so pretty. Fantasy. Don't you love when things come together? Okay. Blend that out. I'm gonna go in with a Sigma angled brow brush. It's an E75, little angled brush. And I'm going with Love Bite. I just checked my Instagram and Nicole just started following me. Holy shookness. Holy shookness, fan girling. Now I'm going to just blend this part here. Just kind of pat with the 221. I'm going to use an angled tart brush and I'm going to use the Kylie Black Liner. And we're going to just do a wing. Sometimes I like miss using gels. And I always like to use gels though when I'm doing a look that has like a lot of shimmer like this though because it's nice and opaque and I don't have to worry about it looking weird or anything like that. Or having to go over it like a million times. You know? That's a nice wing. Liner is like the one thing that I really can't talk and do at the same time. I'm gonna move on to mascara, and the mascara that I've been using and loving a lot lately has been the NARS Climax Mascara. And then, what do you think we're gonna put on? We're gonna put on some lashes. Lashes that I'm using today are Gigi Bell lashes. Adur. These are Toots. I haven't used these in a while. These used to be my favorite pair ever to wear. If you guys didn't know, this is my lash line. And there's me. That's my face. You guys can get 20% off right now for holidays. You can use code HOLIDAY and you will receive 20% off. So go do that if you're going to be shopping on ggbellash.com. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Lash Glue. Uh, I'm going to let that get tacky a little bit. So pretty. I was like so into Lexi lately that I forgot about Toots. We're gonna start the face and I'm gonna be using the Revlon Rose Glow Hydrating and Illuminating Primer. Never used it before, so this is the first. And just take a little dropper in my hand, like a peed on me. It's really, really pretty though. You can see how glowy it is. And just put that into my skin. That feels pretty nice. Can't put my... Oh, it smells like roses. Duh! It smells like roses. And for foundation today, I'm going to mix a little Fenty and a little LA Girl. I want to see how that combo is because Fenty is very, very full coverage. I'm not feeling too, too full coverage today. So I'm going to mix them. And see how I like that because I always love, you know, experimenting with stuff like that. And I'm going to use the F88. It's a flat angled kabuki brush by Sigma. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. I like it. I didn't even say how much I liked it. I really like it. This looks really, really pretty. And it's good coverage because LA Girl has good coverage, but 
Fenty has better because it's more of a full coverage. So this is a really nice mix. I like it a lot. And then we're gonna drop some stuff on the floor, as always. And then I'm gonna go into concealer. Use the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in Cookie Dough or 14N. I'm just putting this all over. Down the nose. I'll put a lot down the nose. Let's take some of that off. I put a lot down the nose. It's okay though. Got my little blender. Let's blend this out. I actually really, really like this concealer. It's really smooth, and the best part is that applicator. Besides the full coverage, obviously. But the applicator, so genius. So genius. I don't know any other concealer actually that has that applicator. If you do, comment that below. Because I'm always interested in heating that. And then I'm just blending this out. Nose. Alright, and then I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Truffle. I always just call things a contour stick without even thinking that it actually has a different name. To blend that out, I'm going to be using the Optical Blurring Brush. And I'm just using circular motions to blend it. Blending it on the temples. Again on the cheek. Mm, make that weirdest face. Okay. I'm just using a little extra. I always use a little extra on my left cheek just because it really blends out like too much it can get patchy on this cheek for some reason i don't know why i just have like some unevenness here so this cheek always looks better than this cheek i hate it but it's a thing and i'm just going to kind of dust this and then use my fingers Blend it, and then I'm also going to use the bottom of the blender. I'm using my fingers here. And then just my blender a little bit, and we are good. And I'm going to go in with the Patrick Star Powder. I've actually been really obsessed with this lately. I'm going to just set it. Not really do anything crazy with baking. Just setting pretty much, but I always like to bake my sides of my nose because you know, got a little bit of a big nose here. And then I like to just do underneath the cheekbones just to kind of sharpen it up. Sharpen it. Uh, <laughs> over here, too. I'm gonna put some Too Faced bronzer. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, yeah. Sounds super sexy. And I'm gonna use the KKW Beauty Contour Brush. I like how dense this is, so that is why I use it. And then I just put a little on my nose. And on the sides of my forehead, and obviously my jaw. These drawers have to be really organized, that's the problem. Like, they really need to be. Like, you hear that? <sighs> I live in a Sephora. All right, oh, that gives me anxiety. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna be using this blush by Tarte. I've been obsessed with it. It's called Doll Face. It's really, really gorgeous. Um, I've been using this like crazy lately, and I'm using a F10 from Sigma. If you guys didn't know, I have a discount code with Sigma. It's code Gianna. I think it's 10% off you guys can get if you use code Gianna. 
sigmabeauty.com for anything sigma so yeah now i'm going to just blend everything out with a jh01 this is from the master collection from morphe i'm just blending the out all right so i'm going to take a smudger brush from soeva it's a 226 ruin that concealed i have to clean that i'm gonna go in with secret I was like, I might leave it light underneath. You ain't leaving anything, la beach. I'm then going to go in with Spanked and Love Bite. And I'm just going to put that under there. And that is actually pretty. I don't want it to be too, too dark underneath there because it's just too much. I'm going to put some more uh, NARS Climax Mascara. Sorry, I'm laughing because I'm so such a weirdo. I'm um, gonna put mascara on the lower lashes. That is good. I want to wait for that to dry a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the NARS High Voltage. How gorgeous is this packaging, you guys? They did a beautiful job on their holiday collection. And oh my gosh, how gorgeous are these? I'll do a little swatcheroo for you guys. They're really light. They're not like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? But they're still really, really pretty. So I think I'm going to use the two end ones, these two here, for difference and queen. I'm going to use this Hourglass Veil Brush just to wipe away any excess powder. So I'm using a Morphe M501. We're going to zoom back out. I mean, that's pretty freaking gorgeous. I'm actually mixing them all because I don't care. <laughs> They're just so pretty. I want to use all of them. That's freaking wet. It's wet. That's exactly what it is. It looks like a wet highlight and I love that look. Gonna put it on my nose. This is a new M501 and it's like nice and pretty. I'm gonna put the lightest shade, 1977. Put that on the brow bone. I'm not gonna do an inner corner highlight. I know that's kind of crazy, but I want to keep it very halo-ish. So I'm not gonna do an inner corner highlight. It's very much against my rules, but I'm just not gonna do it today. We're gonna go in the new Huda Beauty and Italic lipsticks. These are freaking gorgeous. So I'm really excited to try these out. Um, I haven't tested them out yet. I mean, the packaging itself is just so, so gorgeous. So we're gonna try out this red one first. Just how beautiful is that? And it's just like freaking stunning. I just love the shape of the lipstick itself. I'm a mess and my camera keeps dying on me. Mm, feels, okay. So I'm gonna be using Hover. And just line this out. Okay, I'm not gonna really fill it, but it's pretty. I actually like the way it lined my lips. So, mm -hmm. this is actually shade NYE New Year's Eve. Much? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well. Oh my god, guys, they're so creamy. It goes with this look really well, but I'm not going to keep it on. But it's so pretty. I'm going to keep swatching for you guys until I find the color that means the most. Means the most. That just really speaks out to me. You know what I'm saying? It's so pretty and so creamy. Not gritty. I love it. So for the next lip, I'm going to be using... After party first, this is that purple. Spin it around. So beautiful. Can't handle it. I'm going to be using NYX suede pencil in Brooklyn Thorn. Holy.
the creaminess is what the crazy part is. I've never had a metallic go on so creamy like this. They're like insane. She needs to make like a nude one of these. And last but not least, we're gonna be using Cake Day. And for Cake Day, I'm gonna use Fashion Boost. That MAC liner. So gorgeous. Look at all the sparkles at the bottom. Pretty. And let's see what this one looks like. Oh my goodness. So pretty. I think I'm gonna mix it with After Party and see if I like it. I'm gonna take New Year's Eve and just put it on the outsides. It just like ties it in really nice. I'm going to set with Smashbox Primer Water. And that's the look, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. It is super pretty. The lip is totally out of my comfort zone, but I'm freaking loving it. If you're new to this channel, I hope that you subscribe and you enjoy this video. Thumbs it up if you have. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm always open to seeing your ideas and suggestions, so please comment those below. If you want to see my videos, be sure to hit the post notification bell. That's the best way to know when a video of mine goes live. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Bye.